on the money, boy. You hear that shit? Got a motor? Yeah. What you got there? A little camera, a little video thing? A little video thing. Front camera. The what? <laughs> Looks like a straight up beast. Son of a when you order it from Mercury, this is what it looks like. Packaged very nicely. Uh, kill switch. I'm guessing that's an extra. I don't know what that is. Extra pull cord. That is? Yep. A little thick. Extra pull cord. I need this one because I break them. Manuals, whatnots comes in. This could be a, a 2020 Mercury 9.9 .9 unboxing. That's what this could be, Logan. I just thought of that. Genius, genius, genius! You got your kill switch. Looks like an extra pull cord. It's really thick. Manuals. Your oil. Comes with oil. Four stroke. 10W30. Outboard. Mercury oil. Only use Mercury. No pins oil. What's in here? I don't know what this is. Maybe some hats or shirts. Maybe money to help pay for this. Uh, let's see. Oh, a gas. Dude, it comes with a gas tank. Are you kidding, bro? It comes with a gas tank. Look at that. Brand new gas tank. Look at that, dude. They hook you up. It's got the connector for the motor. It's got the, um, the diaphragm here. A little subwoofer or something? I don't know what that is. Gas tank. Yeah, yeah I'll come with it. Quicksilver, baby. Branded gas tank. With the hookup, ready to rock and roll. Yeah. He's got his Mercury uh, Pro Team shirt on. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's coming with the gas tank. Dang. And a little hookup. That don't play, son. Uh-uh. Metal prop. I think that's a Fury. It's not. It's not a. It's not. A, not Fury. Oh, but you can go with it. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I seen Fury. Right. No. No. It's gonna fit good on the back of that Johnny boat. Mm-hmm. I need to read this. Yes. Manual. <laughs> yes. Short attention span. You can do it two pages at a time. That's right. I wonder if I can Google it, good YouTube it. Registration card. Got to fill that out. Mm -hmm. Yep. In case you need to get it serviced. Yep. Not too heavy, huh? It's 100, 100 pounds, 109. What are you, a doctor with these gloves on? What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, hey, look, I'm hey, I'm just abiding by the the uh, Baroka Cryrus. Big time, son. Riding dirty. No, it's riding clean. It's four stroke. Uh, it is, oh shit, yeah. it is four stroke. That's right. Riding clean. You got to mix no more oil in it. Got a 
Make sure you have oil in it, but you don't have to mix it in the gas in this three gallon Quicksilver gas tank right here. Heavy. Oh snap, got some other stuff. That's a cool kid. Spark plug wrench. Nice. Little pliers. Look at that. Little pliers. Spark plug. Socket. Thing. A little screwdriver. Drill bit. Nope, that's for the spark plug thing. Genius. Spark plug. That's probably the spark plug. I don't it's just a wrench. So I got, yeah. Let me hook you up on these out on these little 9.9s. The next day. Put a handle in the box. Yes. It's still bright as shit. All right. So I've got the unboxing taken care of. Shows you what all was in the box. The tools, the oil, the gas tank, everything that comes with a 9.9 .9 Mercury. A 2020 9.9 .9 Mercury. Sorry about that. <coughs> Straight. <coughs> so now we're going to show you how to mount the motor on a John boat. It's simple, but some people don't know how to do it. So. Ah! Oh, no. That's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Take the uh, skin off of her. Oil, 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 oil on the road. Tony. Oh, yeah. Oh. Flip the throttle up. There you have it. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. All done. All done. It's like you got to center it up. Yep. Center it. So kind of eyeball it. We got Mark back here eyeballing it. Give it John a little bit. So when you mount it, you want to make sure that your motor, before tightening it down, is centered on the transom just because you don't want nothing. You don't want to be running cricket and stuff. They come in like three different lengths or something like that, 15 shaft inch. Length. Yeah, the shaft length, so it's a 15 inch, uh, 20. 20 inch and 25. 20 and 25. So if you got a John boat, flat bottom, something like that, you want to go with the 15 inch. It's a normal, yeah, normal John boat, 15 yep. inch. Yeah. That's what that is, and you can see bottom of the boat cuts just above the the uh, the board there mm -hmm. so that'll be good clean water yes more clean good clean water good clean yes you got to watch these trim tabs because they'll get you right in the caucus we're going to tighten this down We've got two little uh tighteners here uh like a vice so tighten these bad boys down you want to do them uh you don't want to tighten one all the way down then tighten the other one because then then it's going to get all so you just want to Tighten it down, tighten this one down. Make sure they're even as far, I don't know, it could be OCD thing, but get a good grip on them. They're nice and tight. Getting a little tighter. sure that both the ears kind of line up that way you can run a lock through it and nobody steals it and it'll be secured to your transom so if these things rattle loose they ain't gonna come off now that we got the motor on here mounted it's mounted on there pretty good I don't think she's going anywhere you need to put oil in the motor so we're gonna take the callan off or halfway off just take it off. Oh my God. Dude, God, it smells so good. It's like a new house. Right here's your oil where you put it in because it does not come with oil in it. And I'm just covering everything, all right? You know, don't be bashing me on the coming. Ooh, duh, duh. No duh doesn't come with oil in it. Right here it says 9.9. .9. You got your eight horsepower, 9.9. .9. It says it calls for 800 milliliters. Well, your 800 milliliters is going to be right there. So figure, you know, you probably put, probably fill it, put all the oil in it till it gets down to about 200 milliliters because, you know, just kind of 
kind of eyeball it. Cool thing about four strokes is you don't have to put oil in the gas. That's the only place you're gonna have oil. So let's see how steady my hand is. Good. It calls for 800 milliliters, which is 27 ounces. Just gonna put that oil in right there. That's about right. So I've got just about below the uh, 200 milliliters. So I've got 800 milliliters in here, which is 27 ounces. And this is 33.8 ounces. So you, you're gonna have a little bit left over. Go ahead and screw this on. Just like that. Get you a little rag. I have one little drip. But right here is your dipstick. This is where you will check your oil. And I would recommend that you check it. A new motor like this, I, I would st I'm, I'm still going to check it. But yeah, it's got oil in there. Since I actually just put 27 ounces. Of course it does. But just going over the basics. It's a clean ass motor, boy. Put it on this side. Dang. Dude, focus, focus. It's really nice out here today. It's really nice out here today. The sun is out. Earlier it was cloudy. Now it's like really hot. Put this cowling back on. We've done mounted it. We've done put the oil in it. The mercury oil, 27 ounces. We checked it on the dipstick. Now I'm going to put the cowling back on it and put that gas tank in it and hook it up cowling back on like so flip her up Make sure she's on there good and tight see right here's the gas tank that goes in it this is how the, mo the motor came boxed up so they got the gas tank already in a box but I already took it out of the box so now we're gonna put it in the boat put the gas can in I'm gonna tell you right now Right there looks good. So we got the gas can in right now. Uh, plenty of hose. Plenty of hose. Plenty of hose. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hook the gas line up to this bad boy. And like I said, everything comes with this motor when you get it. Uh, look, I'm sitting here trying to hook it up. To Oh, hello, Lord. You want to pull this cap off. Just like that. So make sure that she's nice and snug. Look how that gas tank just lays down in there real nice like. Lovely. Lovely. All right. So we went over mounting it, right? We got it tightened down. Put, us, I put me a lock on there just for extra safety. I put the oil in it, okay? Put the oil in it. Check the oil, which I know there's oil in it, but never know. Put the gas tank in there, hooked up the gas line, nice and snug. Now we just gotta go put some gas in it and run it. Motor's in, motor's installed. That was seamlessly easy to install, which Hey, some people might not know how to do it. That's the first new motor I've ever installed. And, you know, you've got different tilts on these 9.9. .9. Like, you know, you got one, two, and three. You got to check that out when, I, when you put it out on the water. You got to put oil in it. Like, I didn't know you had to put oil in it. I mean, I, I'd have, you know, oil was in there. But that tag on the handle, before you crank it, it's going to say, make sure you put your oil in it. I guess I wouldn't have known it had oil in it because why would they ship it with oil in it, right? Gas tank, lines are hooked up, everything's good, looks good. Now we just need to put it on the water and uh, break her in. Okay, okay, I gotta put money in the, uh, I gotta put money in the, in the uh, thing here. Two dollars. Always pay your boat ramp fees, okay? Down here at the boat ramp, next to where I live, about six miles from my house, 
Come on back. Got my wife and youngest daughter with me. My oldest daughter's at work. You're a good girl. It's the maiden voyage of the uh, Mercury 9.9. .9. Yeah, dude, I'm super excited. Never been ran. Break in time. Keep on coming, you got it. Watch the way she pulls out. She cracks me up. <laughs> you got it. 14 going on 21. the tail end of uh, the first phase, the first tier of breaking the uh, the mercury. And I've already ran it for 30 minutes and I let it cool down and then I fished a little bit and now I'm running it for another 30 minutes at half throttle. And then I'll probably put it on a trailer. The next tier, I really want to crack down on it and just let the smoke, let the fire come out of the prop. But I got about 10 more minutes on this and then I might fish some more. And I'll put it on a trailer. I'll do it again tomorrow, the second tier. I'm running out of time. Nah, catch you on a flip-flop.